What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today Apple released iOS 12 Beta 9 to developers. I'm still shocked that it's around 220 megabytes here on the iPhone 10. I thought for sure it'd be getting smaller because I've looked around for quite a bit, I checked for new wallpapers, and stills, it's still all the iOS 11 wallpapers plus just the one new iOS 12 wallpaper. New content is probably gonna come here after Apple announces the new iPhones at their special event in September. Usually that's when the Golden Master version is released, and usually that's when we see new wallpapers. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to see some new ringtones this year as well. I did, however, run a Geekbench test, and for the fourth or fifth time in a row, if I head over to my CPU scores, Right here, iOS 12 beta 9, scores that were unheard of just six months ago on the iPhone 10. 42, 42 for the single core score, that in and of itself is not that impressive. What is absolutely crazy is this score right here, 10,680 points. Uh, this phone's a year old, it's gotten faster every new iOS 12 beta for a while now, which is absolutely insane. On beta 8, I was getting those scores, beta 6, I was getting even better scores. Uh, and it's only gotten better. Like, I've never gotten 10,680 on an iPhone ever, and this phone's old. Apple just keeps improving iOS 12 in the background so that the maximum performance continues to improve release after release. I really hope we see this trend with iOS 12.1, 12.2, uh, and 12.3 throughout the next year as well because performance is something that's really important, and clearly that's been a focus for Apple with iOS 12 this year. The only other change in iOS 12 beta 9 that I've read about is that on the iPhone 6S, if you have no apps running in the app switcher and you try to swipe up to invoke the app switcher, you get haptic feedback there again. I think in iOS 11, some of that functionality was taken away. So on the iPhone 6S again, you get haptic feedback. Super small change, wouldn't really notice it unless you always clear out your app switcher, but that's said to be a change here. Besides that though, I have not noticed anything else in iOS 12 beta 9. It continues to run really, really well on the iPhone 10. I've seen it run really well on older devices as well. And it should be just around the corner, launching in around a month or so. So that's why all the changes and features are beginning to slow down. Apple is really focusing on wrapping everything up rather than adding a ton of stuff and having it be buggy on launch, which I respect. A little bit less exciting, uh, but it is exciting that this is going to come out for everybody very soon. So that's all I've got for this video. If you enjoyed watching, if you learned something new, drop a like. Of course, hit subscribe for more videos on iOS 12 in the future. For now, I've been Sam. I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.